If we can get practical-minded people there, I think we can make Congress better. Lord knows we've got to try. It's official tonight. Evan Bayh, the state's former governor and senator, is a candidate to go back to Washington by formally entering the race for U.S. Senate for this fall after retiring from the job just six years ago. It's a bombshell in Indiana this week. rtv 6s Rafael Sanchez sat down with Bai today. Uh, Todd, good evening. Evan Bai left the Senate back in 2011, calling it divisive. He even penned this letter to the New York Times titled, Why I'm Leaving the Senate and Why He Did Not Want to Run for a Third Term. Bai believes the political landscape has changed, and now he wants to return to politics. He tells me that fellow Democrat Baron Hill was not pushed out, and that he hopes that Hill will join him on the campaign trail. Bai also responding to his opponent's criticisms, saying that he isn't a lobbyist and that his residency will not be an issue. So here's why Bai says he wants to return to Congress to represent you. What I would like to do is to bring a practical problem-solving approach working with across the aisle, Democrats, Republicans, all of us trying to move our country forward. We've got way too much divisiveness. And the final thing I'd say is one of the things that's different, I think finally the American public's fed up with all the partisanship, the gridlock, and with that wind blowing behind our backs, if we can get practical-minded people there, I think we can make Congress better. Lord knows we've got to try. Uh, so here's the bottom line at 6 o'clock. Bai has yet to file the paperwork with the state to make that all official. He has until Tuesday to get that done. The state Democratic Committee is meeting next week to officially make him their nominee, Todd. All right, Raphael, thank you. Bai will face Republican Todd Young, who easily won in May's Republican primary. He's already launched into criticism of Bai, calling him a Washington lobbyist. Young releasing a statement today saying, Most Hoosiers I talk with think the system in Washington is rigged against them. They think Washington lobbyists like Evan Bai are part of the problem. I agree. He goes on to say, This Senate seat does not belong to the Bai family for whenever it's convenient.